All right, so we're going to continue using our topic class, and we're going to add some more methods. Um, what I want to do right now is uh, I want to get uh, make this number here, these numbers, dynamic, and they're going to represent the amount of replies for each topic. All right, so in this case, they they don't have any any replies, but I just want this to be dynamic. So let's go and look in our template. Okay, this is the front page template, and right here is where that number is coming in. And we're actually going to use a database helper function for this. All right, so it's going to be, um, I'm going to say PHP echo, um, echo, it's not going to be a variable, reply count. All right, and then we just want to wrap in. Uh, I mean, we want to pass in the topic ID so we can get that with topic ID because we're still in that for each loop so we can use these the topic um, properties. All right, so now we need to create that function. I'm going to go to DB helper and I'm going to just paste this in. All right, and let me just give this a quick comment. I usually use Eclipse and not Notepad++, um, and it just gives you uh, much easier commenting, so this is kind of a pain. Um, so let's see, this is gonna get, it's gonna get the number of replies per topic. All right, so basically you can see that we're creating a new database object all right, we're not in the class. This is just a, a file that's going to hold a bunch of functions. So we're not going to use this or anything like that. Um, and we can use the query. All right, so we're going to call a query. We're selecting select all from replies where topic ID equals topic ID. And this is where we can use this PDO class to bind values. All right, so you want to uh, replace this with something. In this case, we're going to bind it to our variable that we're passing in here. All right, and this is this makes it very safe, um, much safer, and prevents SQL injection. So this is a really nice class to use. Um, and then we're going to just assign the rows. Okay, so DB result set, and then we're just going to return the row count. All right, we're not going to return the actual rows uh, to use. All we want is the count. Okay, so save that. And now if we go back and reload, you can see that these have now gone to zero because there are no replies. And they will change when there's actually some replies. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is down here, the statistics, we're gonna do the same kind of thing we just did. We wanna return counts. All right, so let's go to our topic class. Okay, and we want to go down here. And what I'm going to do is paste in three functions or three methods. All right, so first we have get total number of topics. Um, it's basically just passing in a query of select all from users. And that is wrong. This should be, yeah, this should be select all from topics, I would think. All right, yeah, select all from topics, and then we're just assigning the result set, and then we're getting a row count, just like we did with the replies. Okay, this one is doing the same thing, except it's getting categories. All right, and then this one down here is doing the same thing, um, except it's getting the total replies, which um, select all from replies where topic ID equals topic ID. All right, so yeah, it's getting the total replies for our little stats block at the bottom. All right, so if we save that, now what we want to do is go to our index controller, I guess, and let's just pass in right under this. We're gonna pass in a couple things, total topics, which is gonna be equal to get total topics, which we just created um, right here. All right, and then we have total categories. 
All right, so now we can use these variables inside of our template. So let's save that and go to our front page template. Okay, so now we can just replace this with dynamic content. And actually number of users, that's gonna be in the users class, which we haven't created yet. So I'm just gonna leave that for now and let's go on to number of topics. So we can say PHP echo uh, total topics. I think that's what it was called, right? Total topics. And then this one is gonna be total categories. Total categories. All right, so let's see if that worked. All right, which it did. We have the number of topics is two, and we also have two categories. The users, however, we will be doing a little later when we deal with the user class. All right, so now for this image, um, I think I have the wrong path. Let me just see something here. All right, so it's looking for an IMG folder. I don't think I have that. Um, let me see, let's go to HT Docs, uh, Talking Space. All right, so we have an Images folder and then Avatars. All right, so that's what we have. So I'm going to get just a, a quick image online. Avatar. Okay, so let me just grab one of these. And I'm going to save it as avatar1.jpg. We'll save it to the desktop. All right, now what I'm going to do is go into the images, avatars, and upload that. All right, now in the front page template where it says avatar right here, okay, I'm going to change this path to the real path, which is images slash avatar. All right, so let's see if that is gonna work. All right, still not working. Let me check this again. Okay, it's going to images slash, oh, I think we need an S on the avatars. All right, there we go. So our front page area, the main column at least, is, is just about done. Um, I want to continue with the topics. So what we want to do is deal with the topics.php page uh, so we can filter by category uh, and all that. So I want to change the links to these because right now they're just going to nothing. All right, so let's go to our footer where our, that's all where our sidebar stuff is, I believe. All right, so these um, these are going to be dynamically generated. Um, we haven't gotten to that yet, but for now, I just want to I just want to link this to um, topic. Actually, you know what? Let's take care of this now. Let's make these categories dynamic. Um, I'm actually just going to paste in here. So we want to get everything out of here, and then. I'm going to paste this in. Now, what this is doing is we're going to have a helper function to create this get categories function, which will just grab all the categories from the database. So we'll say for each get categories as category, and then however many categories there are is how many times this will iterate. And it's going to create the link to the category, and it's going to go to topics.php. And then it's going to also have a get variable of category, which will be equal to the category ID. All right, so for this to work, we need to go to our helper. We're going to go to our uh, DB helper. And we just want to paste in the get categories. All right, so this is a very simple function. 
Uh, basically, we're just saying select all from categories. All right, so that should fix this for us. Um, or not. Let's see. Get categories. Return results. And I think I know what the issue is. Um, you can see in our code block we have this is active. And basically we're using this to see if the current category is the one that we are on, is the one showing in this list which is highlighted. All right. So what we need to do we want to create that inside of our format helper. All right. So basically we're just passing in the category and it's just seeing if the current category in the URL, okay, we get that with this get super global. If it's equal to the current category, then it's going to return the text active. All right, so it's basically going to give that div um, or that list item a class of active, which then will will highlight it. So let me just show you. Let's save that. All right, so uh, I'm going to get rid of this in a second, but you can see that the active category has this this blue background or purple grayish background. Um, for this topic count line 26 um, footer 26 okay um, we basically want to get the the topic count for each category and have that in a little bubble I'm actually gonna get rid of that right now we may come back to it later All right. All right. So now, if we click on one of these, it's going to take us to our topics page, and it's also going to have a category assigned to the the um, category number that was clicked. This over here. Uh, this is over here because I don't think. See topics. Includes header. I'm not exactly sure why. Includes footer. I'm not sure why that is saying that. We're actually going to come back to that. So let's continue with our topics.php um, with this here, which is basically the same as the front page. Um, so I'm going to kind of copy that. All right, if we go to, let's go to index.php and also open up topics. Where is it? Topics.php. I'm going to bring this over. All right, so we want to create a new topic object, and uh, let's see, templates, topics. That's right. Uh, I'm going to go to the index page and grab these because we're basically uh, going to use these same things. So we'll save that. And then if we go to the front page template, I'm going to grab um, from here. Actually, I'm going to grab from the UL down to. Just going to grab the whole thing down to the bottom here. Copy that. And then go to the topics template and replace. From this UL 
to this UL, basically the whole page, replace that. All right, so we should basically have the same kind of thing. All right, and you can also see that the categories is fixed as well. All right, now what I want the difference to be here from the home page is that I want to be able to narrow it down by category. Um, you can see if I'm in category two, it's still showing um, posts from both categories. We want to um, filter it. So we can do that using the get super global. So let's go back to our topics.php controller. And I'm going to paste something in here. So basically, it was saying if get category. So basically, if this if this is set right here, all right. If this is here, um, then what we want to do is assign whatever it is to this variable category. So in this case, category would equal two, all right. And then down here under the template. I'm going to paste this in. So we're saying if category is set, all right, so if the URL has category in it, then the topics are going to go to the topic class and to the get by category method. All right. So if there isn't, actually, let me get rid of this comment. Um, we're going to say if it's not set, okay, we'll put an exclamation here. So we're saying if category is not set, then we're going to do what we what we've been doing, which is this top get all topics. Okay, and we're also just creating a title for this view as well. Uh, if they are viewing topics from a certain category, then the title is just going to say posts in and then the name of the category. And that actually reminds me, uh, we need to go to our header and we want to make the title, this title right here, dynamic. All right, so let's go to templates, includes header, and let's see, right here where it says welcome to talking space let's um let's say echo title so now we can set it from the controller all right now up here in the head i'm just going to throw in a little bit of code and we're going to set we're going to check and see if the title is set if not it's going to be equal to our site title, which is defined inside of our category. I'm sorry, our config file. Okay, so let's save that. And if we reload here, you can see it says "Welcome to Talking Space," and that's actually coming from um, it's coming from our configuration file, which is right here. Okay, so if you want to change your default title, you can do it right from here. And again, you can also include them in your controller if you want custom titles like we're doing here. All right, so let's save that. The last thing we have to do right here is to create this, this method here, um, get by category. So I'm going to copy that and then go into my topics class. And I'm going to paste this method in. All right, so get by category, we're passing in the category ID. And then we're saying select all from categories where ID equals ID. And we're binding, we're doing the bind here. And then we're just going to return the row. All right, so we'll save that. And let's see if this works. Okay, so if we click on web programming. All right, so call to undefined method get by category oh wait this is get category I need get by category one second okay I'm gonna put that up here 
All right, so get by category. Basically, it's doing all the stuff that this one's doing, get all topics, except we're tacking on this where clause at the end. Okay, we just want it from, from one category. All right, so save that. If we reload and click on a category, you can see that now web programming, it's only showing web programming posts. Web design is only showing web design. And you can see that our dynamic title is also showing. All right, so let's stop here. And in the next video, we'll work on our actual topic page. Uh, when we click on this, the topic.php page that um, we'll see. So I'll see you in the next part.